Kim Stiegler stayed in town during Hurricane Michael and says while it was scary, she is glad she did so. I was glad to be here just after the fact so that we could come down to the restaurant and assess what we needed to do to try to get things going as quickly as possible. What was it like to see it when you first came back here? Oh gosh, I don't... There were no words. Where I'm sitting right now used to be where people would sit, chat, relax, and wait as they were waiting to grab a bite to eat here in this downtown Panama City restaurant. Now, if you take a look around, there truly is complete destruction. There's broken windows, roofs were completely flown off from local businesses here on Harrison Avenue. Basically where the place sign is, everything there was in the floor. The whole ceiling collapsed. The windows were still intact and the doors were still intact, but everything else was like an open air venue. It was overwhelming and, you know, it's like one of those things where you just look at it and you just don't even know where to begin. The place reopened May 1st and Stiegler says if it wasn't for customers who helped her remodel, they may not have even been open in August. The place has been in downtown Panama City for years and moved to its current location in 2004. I think that was part of the driving force to reopen is that, you know, it just, it's been here for so long and, um, and we're so fortunate to have so many great local and regular customers that you just don't want to let anybody down. You want to try to get open as quick as you can and um, give everybody some sense of normalcy again. Siegler says their first week open was like a reunion and they're now busier than they ever were before the storm. Our lunches are definitely a lot busier than they used to be. Um, we've already really always had pretty decent dinners, but lunches were kind of hit or miss, and now you're lucky to find a seat some days. For News 13, Michelle Kaufman, Panhandle Strong.